Hey, so happy Easter, y'all. Um, I think last year we started a whole new tradition of taking off for Easter weekend. So all the family and friends that are having gatherings, I'm really sorry, but this whole RV thing has really gotten to us. getting everything packed up and uh, while we're on the trip I want to share with y'all where we went last year we stayed at Higgins uh, North Higgins I think it is I'll make sure I double check and I'll link it down below uh, but we went to the state park at Higgins Lake in northern Michigan now when we made our decision to um, skip town for Easter we packed it up real quick and we took off like about dinner time so we didn't get up there until real late at night well we did not check the weather before we left and a big thunderstorm was coming in and so in typical style for Chuck and I we were setting up in the dark in the rain with lightning all over the place so it was a real treat and I was outside with the electrical cord plugging it in and all of a sudden it dawned on me I've got lightning and trees and a lake right next to me and I was like this is not smart. So this year we planned ahead and we've been watching our weather report and we will be making it to our destination. Oh, well before dark and so we'll be setting up and it's not going to be rainy so we saw in the weather forecast that in this area at our home it's going to be raining all night tonight however up north it's going to be clear so it's going to be great so I am so excited and I will at a later video share or weekend or Easter weekend with you but I want to share last Easter just some pictures um, Higgins Lake State Park was absolutely beautiful um, the day after uh, it quit raining it was still overcast but the lake was beautiful I want to get back up there and stay during the summer uh, I, th I think it would just be a really nice park uh, there was water nearby however the spigots were one of those smooth spigots where you need one of those adapters which we did have it was a water bandit I do believe I will post a picture of that water bandit but for the life of me I could not figure out how to keep that water bandit on the spigot so if any of y'all know how to attach that every time I turn the water on it would pop right off so I have no idea but we did end up extending the hose and I did fill my uh, potable water tank so that we at least had water but anyway Happy Easter, y'all! get everything put away that I want to bring with me um, I go through and up here I got some child safety latches um, that I hook from handle to handle and that'll keep my cabinets from popping open as we go down the road due to the fact that uh, we do hit some bumps and it is like an earthquake inside of these trailers uh, when as you're moving down the road so I do put the child safety latches into the cabinets. Um, I do have 
I think this is made by Safety First, but it's got, this was a little bit, this cabinet was a little bit wider, so I had to get one of these kind of zip ties child safety latches for the cabinets here and I'll hook this up here and then of course in my other cabinet I'll put another one of those slip um, child safety latches there. One of the important things after you get everything hunkered down like everything from the counter is into your sink and I, things like the broom and stuff like that I made sure that I put into my uh, bathtub. Bathtubs are really good for storage as you're going down the road. But I want to make sure that there is nothing that can fly around and crash through the windows, get broken, or um, break something, anything. So I make sure that they're either in a sink, in a cabinet, or in the bathtub. Um, and that they're child safety locked in. Um, one of the final things before you go down the road on the inside that I, is an absolute must is this little button right here. You want to make sure you turn that uh, water off if you had it on due to the fact that as you're going down your little faucet handles can bump and all of a sudden start spewing water and I have heard horror stories about people whose insides of their trailers um, literally the whole fresh water tank will empty out we are this time because um, our well pump is not um, yet in operation up at, at our property uh, we are traveling this time with three quarters of a fresh water holding tank um, due to the fact that I'm not sure they've had um, a late snow and freeze. I'm not sure how many campgrounds up in that area actually have their water supply going. Normally they don't get that going until roughly the first week of May so we want to make sure that we do take some of our potable water so wish us luck I know it's going to be a heavy load going up which means that we're going to pay more in our fuel gas mileage but we're going to take it slow we're going to get up there safely and we'll have our fresh water so real quick one more thing before I shut this cabinet up uh, with packing is you absolutely want to make sure things are as tight as possible now we like to have wine and we like to have real glass so i have to make sure that everything is real snug in there so that they're not going to do a lot of jostling around um this i can just kind of latch so it's not sliding and so I wedged some paper plates. I tip my bowls upside down. That way they don't um, fly all over the place. I found that as long as they're upside down, they have a wider base, so therefore they don't roll all over the place. So I put a stack of my paper bowls next to my glass um, water jug and then the napkins. Now, I like my little margarita glasses, and these are, um, what I did is I grabbed a couple bowls here that have the kind of flat bottoms, and I put them in upside down into the bowl because they fit perfectly in there, and then I just shoved, I keep, um, some of these drink carriers that you get from McDonald's always always keep at least a couple on you because never fails if you're having a picnic or something and you got to carry multiple things out the door you can stick the solo cups right into these and then um, either take multiple beverages out the door and hand them out or um, you can put your forks and different things in there and it just makes a nice little carry tray out the door. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I do keep my everything packed tightly in here. So that way there's less. I haven't broken any of my glass yet. So hopefully 
this time won't be the first. So anyway, that's a little bit on the inside getting packed and ready to go. Alright, and so we are closed up and ready to go.